Hello and welcome to our August video blog. This month's topic, determining the proper heating cable length in lake applications where the water level fluctuates. This is a common scenario for many of our clients as many waterfront properties are on water bodies controlled by dams. We are going to take this opportunity to explain some of the procedures to determine the best possible system length for this type of situation. With this type of application, many heat line customers will simply order a system that is much longer than potentially required. While this is certainly an acceptable practice, as it is a safe way to make sure you are long enough, the end result may leave someone with a system that costs more than it needs to be, as well as consume unnecessary energy. By taking extra time, pre-planning can not only reduce the overall cost of the heat line system, but it can also be more efficient to operate. First, it is important to understand that the water temperature below the ice is above the freezing point. Therefore, you do not need to freeze protect the entire length of the water pipe that is below the ice surface. The heat line heating cable system only needs to be installed below the ice surface when the water is at its lowest potential water level. When a lake is controlled, they will have a dam to maintain specific water levels at the lake at different times of the year. It may seem difficult to determine the natural water level or shoreline, but in reality, it is very simple. A dam typically uses logs or timbers that hold back the water creating a controlled water level. These timbers are removed or added which then lowers or raises the water level of the lake. These timbers are typically 12 inches square and span the length of the dam. So let's assume that your specific dam currently has four timbers installed. This means that the current lake level is four feet higher than normal. So where is the natural shoreline at the property you ask? With a measuring device, simply determine the four foot water level at your property and this will tell you where the natural shoreline is. Therefore, if the last timber is removed at the dam, your shoreline will be exposed at that point. Once you have determined your natural shoreline, you can now determine the necessary distance based on your region to ensure that the heating cable is below the ice surface when the water is at its lowest level. These tips are fairly reliable and work in most situations. It is important to take all considerations possible when planning your heating cable length as every shoreline is different and we cannot cover all situations. Your main objective is to have the heating cable extend below the ice surface when the lake level is at its lowest and the ice thickness at its maximum. Also, be sure to consult the measuring tips section on the specific product you are looking into. You'll find additional information which you may find useful. If you have any questions on the products you plan to use, please contact Heatline and we'll be more than happy to come up with a solution right for you. I hope you found this vlog helpful. We will continue to release a new vlog video at least once a month, so please make sure you sign up to our email newsletter, Facebook, or other social media pages to stay up to date. Thank you for watching.